Hello guys and welcome to a very short video. Uh, as you know, or maybe not know, uh, the Ruroc came out or they introduced their new lineup uh, yesterday uh, evening, Swedish time, uh, for the Ruroc Atlas 3.0. Um, if you don't know, I have the Ruroc Atlas 1.0, which was uh, their original uh, Atlas motorcycle helmet. Uh, so basically, I was going through my thoughts, um, the designs, and the um, we don't know the price yet. Uh, the actual launch is on the 26th uh, of March, so in two weeks, uh, in the night. So I actually set a reminder. So, so with that said, will I get it? Yes, I will. Um, which one will I get? Not so sure. Uh, but let me talk about uh, some of the features that uh, they introduced on this uh, particular uh, model, version, uh, version really. Uh, so basically, it's, uh, they redesigned uh, the visor. They have, before they had like these covers on the visor that you sort of snapped onto the visor. Uh, in order to to screw it on, um, I, yeah. As I said, I had the first version, and that requires a tool in order to replace uh, the visor, which is kind of sucky. Uh, so that was redefined in 2.0, where they have this uh, like a twist on, twist off um, thing that you can just do with your hands, much more convenient. Um, and also they had like new seals around the visor, which should uh, reduce wind noise. Uh, it should also reduce um, if you should happen to be caught out in the rain. Because um, I, I actually, <laughs> I went out yesterday as of recording this and I got caught in the rain and water was like coming down into my visor, which was not, I mean, it's not pleasant to ride in the rain, we all know that, uh, but that was like adding to the not so great experience. So um, they've ad added that and as far as I know, they've added also, they changed the padding. So it should be more uh, wind, less wind noise, not more wind noise, that would be stupid because it's, my helmet is very noisy. Uh, and also they've added um, a smaller size. So if you have a really small head, uh, they've added the sizes X, extra small and small, uh, addition to the medium and large. So I think that goes to three different shell sizes, which is kind of good. Uh, but what I was mostly impressed of was their vision. And their vision is to become the best motorcycle helmet in the industry which is really cool that's that i mean the the, the ambition is is definitely there um, but they also told that they're going to invest a lot in r d research and development research and development uh, and you can really tell um in in terms of um, technology i mean just to, 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 to introduce uh, in 2021 what they've come up with is that inside, if, I don't know if you know, but uh, on every Atlas helmet, as well as the Berserker, uh, they have this uh, insert. They can, you can pull, up, uh, pull, pull back a tab, like a, a small plastic piece in the back of the helmet by the neck with two screws and you can insert their Bluetooth unit, which is called Shockwave. And you just plug in the antenna and you route the cables and that, but it's, it's nothing on the outside of the helmet, which is really cool. It reduces the uh, aerodynamics, of course. Um, but what they've changed uh, as of 3.0 is that there are no screws in order to attach or insert which is like, okay. So basically you pull off this, the tape tab is the same, but without screws, it attaches magnetically, which is, I mean, really cool. 
So I'm really curious too because I'm really I had the the cardo and I, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it, but it's this clunky thing on the side of my helmet. Uh, it doesn't look good. I mean, the, I I love the the this, the the look of the uh, the rural helmets and. When you attach something on the outside, outside, it just doesn't look as good. It kind of ruins a little bit of the, the look. Um, so yeah, so uh, that's pretty cool. And also they've introduced um, a rider to, to passenger communication. Not sure if it's rider to rider yet. Uh, I didn't catch that, but at least it's uh, you should be able to talk to to your passenger. Uh, what's kind of cool is that. They have sort of this spoiler thing in the back of the helmet and they have integrated the Bluetooth antenna in that spoiler. So everything is basically pre-routed with the speakers and so you basically plug in this magnetic thing and you're good to go. So that's really cool. Uh, what else? Uh, well, in terms of the science, they have some really cool i mean the designs are really cool they're extremely well made uh, but they're not for me personally uh, i prefer a clean looking helmet uh, one color maybe um, so which one would i get um, i had the mercury today which is basically like a silver uh, thing it's I, I love it don't get me wrong but i'm thinking I want a black one. I don't know. It's just easier to have a black helmet. But the thing is, they have two versions that I really, really want. One is called the Core, or just Core, and it's basically matte black. Um, the, the their most basic, uh, basic helmet, design-wise. Um, and then they have this special, which they actually. Um, presented for the 2.0 which is called liquid carbon and it's oh it's so beautiful uh, basically it's a glossy carbon finish and um, I, I, I know I should get the core one uh, but I really want the, the liquid carbon one as, as well so my idea is to have uh, the core set up as my regular motovlog helmet uh, because you have to attach the camera and it, basically you can't get it off so you will ruin the helmet if you want to take it off so but then i want the liquid carbon for just when i go out ride by myself uh, nothing on the helmet except uh, this bluetooth thingy which you can basically move from from helmet to helmet so that's that's pretty cool um so yeah Again, I love the Rural Rock uh, lineup. I think they're freaking awesome. They are 100% listening to their consumers and they have skipped all the, the middlemen. So you can't get a, a Rural Rock helmet from like a distributor or like a major store. You can only get them directly from Rural Rock, which skips a step uh, in terms of customer service and also in terms of actually listening to what the customers want in their helmets. Um, so that's, I mean, I got mine, I don't know, like a year ago or something, the 1.0. And then shortly after they came out with the 2.0, I'm not sure, maybe in the summer or something, uh, based on the feedback they received from their users. You, you, you have seen all these major YouTube channels who get the review uh, of, the, of, of those uh, helmets. It, it's, again, it's, I think it's awesome that they're listening to the customers and refining and redesigning uh, to, to what they want. To it, but keep it, I think the main uh, concern is to keep everything as safe uh, as possible. Of course, that's, you know, a helmet is, is there to protect, not only look good, but it's supposed to protect you as well in case of uh, worst case scenario. So yeah, um, and 
and, and also they've skipped out the distribution part because not, not skipped uh, they changed the distribution uh, setup they have actually built as far as I understood a completely state-of-the-art factory where all these helmets are going to be produced and shipped from so they have taking out the middleman even in that step which is pretty cool and um, so, so I, I, I heard something that they until launch they will be able to I think produce like 20,000 units but it will be impossible to know what helmet uh, the customers will order on launch day but their goal was to ship most of the helmets ordered on launch day within four to six weeks and I, I, I mean that's fair um, so yeah that's uh, pretty much um, the, the new Rurag lineup I think they look great technology wise it's freaking fantastic uh, they say within the next five years they will revolutionize uh, the technology in motorcycle helmets I know this sounds like Apple and I, I, I think that the strategy they had in the presentation it's not unlike Apple uh, so I mean that, we all know the Apple strategy works so I think it's cool so yeah, that's uh, that's very brief uh, about the new helmets. I really looking forward to the launch on the 26th. Uh, set a reminder on my phone, and uh, yeah, that's been it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I've tried to include some pictures of the of the helmets. Uh, uh, you can visit Rurock.com for more information. Uh, I'll have the link in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching, uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and bell and comment and do all those sort of things. Take care now, ride safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!